In this question, we're told the graph shown has equation y is equal to ax squared plus b, where a and b are constants. Point a has the coordinates 2, 11. Point b has the coordinates 0 0.5, 3.5. Given that point c lies on the y-axis, find the coordinates of c. So we can see here that a is on the curve, so we've got that just here. We've got b on the curve, and also we've got c on the curve, and c is sitting on the y-axis. What I'm going to do here is sub in the values that we've got. So if we consider the point A, which is on the curve, we can put these in. So Y is equal to 11. So I can say 11 is equal to A, and then we've got X squared. If I square now the two, I'm going to get 4. So I can say that that's going to be 4A plus B. And I'm going to call that now equation 1. If I consider now subbing in at 0 0.5 and 3.5, we will have now a second equation, and that will be 3.5 will be equal now, and I need to square this. So what I'm going to get just here is 0 0.5 squared multiplied by a, which is going to be 0 0.25a plus b. So now I've got simultaneous equations, and I can go ahead and solve for these. So what I'm going to do from here is simply now do 1 minus 2. So if I do 1 minus 2, I'm going to have 11 minus now the 3.5, which is going to give me 7.5. If I subtract now 4a and subtract away 0 0.25a, I'm going to get 3.75a. If I now subtract b from b, that's going to leave me 0. So all I need to do at this stage now is simply divide both sides by 3.75. That's going to give me now that 2 is equal to A or A is equal to 2. There are two lots of 3.75 going to 7.5. So I know that A is equal to 2. I'm going to sub that back into equation 1. I've got 11 is equal to 4 lots of A. Well, A is 2 plus B. So from here, we can see now that this is going to be 8, so we can say subtracting 8 from both sides, b is going to be equal to 3. So now I can put my equation back together. So what I'm going to do is write the equation, and I'm going to say that y is equal to ax squared. So this is going to be now 2x squared plus b. We've just found b to be 3. Now, if we consider this is the equation, so we solve that with simultaneous equations. Right here now, we can say at C, we've got a x coordinate, or the x coordinate is naught. So we can say at C, x is equal to zero. It's crossing the y axis, which means x is naught. So all we're going to do is sub this in. y is going to be now two lots of zero plus three. So we can say now that y will be equal to 3, and we will have the coordinates now 0, comma 3. So that now gives us the point C, and we've done that now with a simultaneous equation given the information. So final answer, C has the coordinates 0, comma 3.